All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go over the first one because some people have it done, so I'd like to go over it. Um, the basic thing, Molly and uh, Noah, that you guys are going to want to take from this is when we're simply in radi radical expressions, the main important thing that we need to understand is, again, what does the root represent? The root is going to tell us, based on the index, how many times we need to multiply a number by itself, um, by its index. Well, here it's a square root. So what I need to do is I can take the square root of numbers that are multiplied by themselves twice, or multiplied by themselves. So basically, the easiest way to think about this is to break down a number into its prime factors. So what I can do for this is I can break down 25 into a set of prime factors, which would be 5 times 5. And I can break down x to the fourth as x times x times x times x. Does everybody agree with me that 5 times 5 times x times x times x times x is the exact same thing as 25x to the fourth? Yes. But now, once by breaking it down this way, what we can see is that um, here, the square root represents you know, what numbers are multiplied by themselves. Well, I have 5 times 5, x times x, and x times x. So the square root of 5 times 5 is just 5. The square root of x times x is just x. And the square root of x times x is just x. So now I can simplify this to become 5x squared. And that is how you simplify your final answer. So you don't put the 